Hello and welcome to Power Server Web Quick Tour, Cloudify for Less with Power Builder. What is Power Server Web? Power Server Web is an add-on to the Power Builder Universal Edition. Once installed, a secondary toolbar will be displayed below the main Power Builder toolbar. The secondary toolbar will contain all the tools you need to webify any Power Builder application. Power Server itself can be available in either a .NET or a J2EE or Java Server runtime. It's your choice. Power Server is the repository for where you would actually deploy your Parabellar applications that have now been web enabled. The user interface is faithfully replicated inside the web browser, and development remains in Parabellar, so you preserve your Parabellar skill set and investment in Parabellar software. So, what are the five easy steps to a web application? Configure your Power Server project in the Parabellar IDE. Analyze your code using the unsupported feature analyzer tool. Then modify your code using the code insight tool. And test your web application over the internet. And in addition, you can also use the Power Server debugger. And deploy your web application when it's ready for production. Inside the Power Builder 2017 Universal Edition IDE, we can see the Power Server Toolkit toolbar just below the main toolbar. The first icon we need to use is the configuration guide. This is going to bring us through the configuration wizard. Once we have a mapping, we can use the analyzer. The analyzer here is going to show us exactly which commands that we have to modify and why we have to modify it. It'll make suggestions. If not, you can also use the extensive Power Server help to guide you through this process. While coding, we can use Code Insight. You notice when Code Insight is working, the Autoscript dropdown automatically highlights on the left hand side in red any of the commands or properties that may need some consideration for the Power Server web environment. When we're completed all our changes, we can use the deploy icon to deploy your application to Power Server web. We can then use the run icon to actually run the application. And you can see here now the application itself has now been converted to run as a web application inside the web browser with the data windows, pull down menus and toolbars all working exactly the same as a Win32 application. When we need some assistance when actually testing, we can use the Appion debugger. You can see here that when we actually launch the debugger, we can actually set breakpoints on different commands and execute the application using exactly the same type of debugger that we're used to inside the Power Builder IDE. So what are the key benefits of Power Server Web? Web enable rapidly in months or just weeks. Eliminate retraining of users and developers. Your application look and feel stays the same and your developers use the existing Power Builder skills. Integrate natively with either a .NET or Java web applications, and scale flexibly with Power Server's end-tier and cloud-ready architecture. For more information on Power Server and get your free trial today, visit www.appion.com.